Hello everyone, my name is Sydney Katevna. Today we're going to be performing data visualization with two separate data sources using Tableau desktop software as a panel for carrying out this demo. Today's agenda includes the following data visualization from two separate data sources, relationship formatting between two data sources. Data visualization from two separate sources. We're going to be connecting two separate data sources. That's the Excel spreadsheet file and the Microsoft Access database file in Tableau. We're going to be carrying out our analytics and data visualization in them. We're showing you how to blend your data in Tableau Dexter Publisher. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be connecting the two separate data sources. We're going to show you how to connect two separate data sources, Excel spreadsheet file and Microsoft Access database file. We'll head now to our Tableau desktop software. First connection we're going to be making is our Excel spreadsheet files, gross domestic products of countries around the world. I'll make the connection. Now we have a preview of all of the of the of the Excel spreadsheet file, country code, economy, and GDP in dollars. This can also be changed you can also edit the headers by renaming it to country you click on that now we're going to add make another data source connection and this is going to be to our microsoft access database file so world population database file click ok And this is the access database file. We have about three tables within the access database file. And we're interested in the population figures table. We click on that. And this is the preview of the the preview of the table within the Microsoft Access database file. Now head to our Tableau worksheet. And now if you look at it carefully you see that we have now made established uh, data source connection between two separate data sources and one is the Excel spreadsheet which is the GDP Excel spreadsheet file the other is the Microsoft Access database file with the connection to the table within the Access database file population figures now our second agenda for today is actually Formatting into the relationship between two data sources. Now, if you look at it, we've already established the data source connection between the Microsoft Access, the Microsoft Access database file and the Excel spreadsheet file. What we're going to do now, we're going to ensure that the formatting is right, and and it's what we want it to be. So now if we look at it very carefully, we're now in our Tableau worksheet. We'll head to our data and entity edit relationship between the two um, tables. And if you look at it carefully, you have country and you have co um, country code. Now what we're going to do, we're going to select the we need to we're going to select choose between um, using country and country code as our link between the two tables mind you the two tables have the same headers of country and country code but we want to use just country so i'm going to remove the country code okay, I'll take that out and i'm going to say okay so what I have done now is that I've now 
establish the relationship between the two tables using the country fields within both tables as the relationship or as the link in Tableau. Tableau refers to it as blending. So I've now done that. And if you want to see an example of that, we're going to take the country from our population table. We're going to put it there. And we're going to take the population. Now you see a country, for example, you take a look at these are various countries and their population figures. Nigeria has about has over 182 million persons or 102 million people. Now what I'm going to do now, I am now going to swing over to my Excel spreadsheet file and when I do that you now see that this is already telling Tableau is already indicating to me that there is already a relationship between the two tables. So the relationship between the two tables has now been confirmed by Tableau with this icon. So I'm going to say my GDP in dollars. I'm going to drop it down here. And what I get now is that GDP in dollars is Nigeria has 481 billion in terms of GDP in dollars and it has a population of about of over 182 million so now you see that we've already done two things we've already uh, made the data source connections between two separate data sources it's an Excel spreadsheet file and yeah, Microsoft Access Database file so and uh, we can now go ahead and do our analysis, analysis and we can also do our visualizations on this so okay. so it's very simple and it's no biggie you can also try this at home so and Tableau also offers many other connection uh, offers any many other connect many connections to other data source so you can always look it up you can always take a look at it it has many multiple data source connections you see most of them um, to servers to files and it, it's numerous the list is endless so you can always give that you can always try that and 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 see how it goes you can connect to multiple data source and do your visualization and your analytics on them. So if you like what we've done, you can follow us on social media. Our Twitter handle is there, our Twitter hashtag understanding my data. You see that when we make our posts or blogs, you can find everything there. And you can also visit our, uh, our website, that's understanding my data uh, dot wordpress.com. Thank you very much for watching.